Following a developing story tonight, a Connecticut community heartbroken as police investigate the death of a five-year-old boy. That child was reported missing this afternoon. He was later found dead in a family car. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Waterford with this tragic story. Bob? Yeah, police are still trying to put the pieces together, looking at the circumstances leading up to it. Meanwhile, a family, a community, a neighborhood mourning the loss of a five-year-old after a very frantic search. The police search spanned for blocks as they looked for a five-year-old boy who had wandered away from his Waterford home. A few came down my street um, to go around this way, but then when we turned on 32, there was more parked on their, like the main street where they were looking for the kid. Within 15 minutes of arriving on scene, police found the five-year-old unresponsive in a car parked nearby. It is not known how long the boy had been in the car, but attempts to revive him had failed. Uh, it's with extreme sorrow that the Waterford Police Department must announce the untimely death of a five-year-old child. The unexpected passing of anyone is tragic, but the death of a child in our close-knit community can be very difficult. So as the sun went down and the police pulled out, a dark pall fell over the neighborhood. Everyone had heard about it, they were talking about it, and people in the area just feel a deep sadness for the loss that family is feeling. It's just terrible, and especially, you know, in a small town. I'm a teacher in the town. I live in the town, so it, it's hard. Megan Nelson clutches tightly to her two-year-old daughter, Lucinda, as she wonders what happened. Some of the neighbors joined in the search as the mother was walking through the streets looking for her son. You know, I work with little kids all day, and, you know, um, it's, it's just, it's really hard to, to think, like, one minute they're there, the next minute they're not. And police want to make sure to point out there in the preliminary stages of the investigation, they say everything is still on the table, including heat. The temperature inside the vehicle is very warm today. They're looking at that as well. We're live in Waterford. Bob Wilson, News 8.